art space. We are located in East Oakland, California. Um, currently, we're in the gallery, and we have uh, the show Remastered 2, which consists of 30 artists, and we had asked each artist to uh, re-image any album they wanted to, to, to do um, with whatever medium and subject matter they like. Um, so we can uh, start off with uh, Derek Moore's piece here. It is, uh, the album is from Deltron and uh, it's acrylic on uh, wood panel. We have uh, this piece here. This is uh, from Math Winner. It is an acrylic uh, spray paint markers, mixed media, pretty much on canvas, and it is from the Bone Thugs and Harmony, um, the Art of War album. Uh, and Math had put in a few of the characters from our local. Uh, Graffiti Crew, uh, PTV, which is Punks, Thugs, and Vandals. Um, we have Dead Eyes, Ross Terms, and a Math, and um, just collaborated their imagery on his piece. Um, <laughs> Ozzy Magana, uh, his walk piece, which I gotta be delicate saying. <laughs> Uh, it is from, uh, actually his title is Wap Wet Ass Pugs, which you see Pugs here in his album. It is uh, from the album Wap <laughs> from uh, Cardi B. Uh, it's a digital image. It has, uh, it's printed and he framed it. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's the Wap. <laughs> Next up we have uh, Felicia Ann's piece and it is uh, a three-dimensional piece which is in abstract work which is um, a lot different from uh, her usual work uh, which she does more figurative and representational work but she took a leap to do this piece. Uh, the album's from Lizzo's Because um, I Love You and um, yeah, it's a great piece to, uh, to kind of walk around with because it changes shape as you go. This piece is by Lisa Pisa and it is the Far Side um, album. Uh, she calls it Bizarre Ride 2020. Um, and it's a three dimensional piece. She used clay and, and painted on it. It's uh, acrylic on wood panel. Um, it's a great three-dimensional piece here. She has a lot of little detail with all the members. This is John Casey's piece. Uh, it's a, from the Ramones album. Uh, it's a graphite on paper and it's all ready to go. It's, it's framed. Um, and his title is Judy is a Cat. Next up we have uh, Olympia Altimer's uh, piece. This is a oil on wood panel and it's, an al it's from the uh, an Opeth album. And next up we have this is Bill Prochnow's piece. It is acrylic on wood panel. Bill is generally a abstract artist and he kind of did his painterly ways you, uh, on the bottom here and within the, the type. Uh, it is called Satan is Real. 
which is self-titled from the original album from the Lugan Brothers. It's a country song or country album, and um, it's kind of a Bill had fun with it, and this kind of looks like that guy, that orange guy. All right, and uh, next up we have um, Raphael Tapia the Third's piece. This is a what is this? A graphite and oil pastel on wood. Um, and it's from Jay Dilla's Donuts album. And Raphael's title is called Delicious. <laughs> um, yeah, he's kind of, I really love the, the teeth in there. I don't know. He, Raphael's has a very graphic, um, illustrative way of uh, uh, in his work. And, uh, he, uh, he nailed it with this. I love this, this donut with sprinkles. and uh, I don't know. I just love that mouth. It really yeah. says a lot. And it's only 250 bucks. And it's only $250. That's way low. The deal. That's a deal. You should get it. Come, got, come by. Look at our website. Um, next up, we have uh, the one and only uh, David Chung Lee. He, uh, this album piece, is, uh, he calls it Chillin'. And the album reference is from Kuko, which, but this is a, a nice, like, marbling technique, and the way he pushes paint around is, is really masterful. Um, this is a piece by Bryant Cena. It's from the, it's a self-titled Nostalgia Ultra. Um, and it's from this one of Frank Ocean's albums. He kind of added his his trademark um, symbolic imagery to the to this piece. It's a fun, bright, colorful piece. Next up, we have Zachary Sweet's piece. It is an acrylic on wood panel. Um, it's uh, he calls it the point which is, I believe it's a self-titled from um, The Point soundtrack by Harry Nelson. Zach has a pretty interesting style of, uh, I don't know, playful and dark and, and funny. A lot of fun. Uh, very beautiful, colorful piece. I love all the colors in here. Good, nice palette. Um, yeah, it's only two hundred and twenty dollars. Hmm. You might have to buy that. <laughs> if you get, get it before I do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Antonio Smalls. Uh, this is his new Millennium Controversy title piece. It is a multimedia. Um, he's got acrylic paint. He's got uh, cutouts from controversial stuff, newspaper clippings. He's saved for years and years. Uh, he even added this extension of the record coming out. We have uh, Steve Javier's uh, triphonic piece. Um, it's called, he calls it All in Due Time. It's acrylic and spray paint on wood panel. This piece is from Miguel Bounce Perez, and he, it's uh, it's basically Tupac and Suge Knight, um, and he put uh, Che and Castro as the as the uh, their faces on their on their bodies. This is reference was the Machiavelli album of Tupac's. It's a uh, picture printed on paper and mounted in frames. We have Ro de Moraes. And its title is called It's In Your Eyes. And the album is um, from Opeth's uh, Sorceress album. Uh, all right, next up we have uh, Armando Resendez's piece. 
It is an acrylic on wood panel. It is, he calls it Mexican. Yeah, it's from the Motorhead album uh, Ace of Spades. And he has, instead of the band members on the album, uh, he implemented um, uh, revolutionaries, Mexican revolutionaries, really fun piece. And then, uh, ooh, ooh, what's this? Who's this guy? Look at this. Yeah, this is my piece. <laughs> this is from me, Mario Alexander Napsero. Hey, that's me. Uh, this is an Abraxas album from the Abraxas album. Uh, There's a long story with it. With uh, the original painting was called the Annunciation, and I interpreted it um, to kind of an Annunciation of the universe and the Mother Earth instead of the biblical Annunciation of angel coming down to tell Mary he's, she's going to have baby Jesus. <laughs> Um, so I did my inter own interpretation of uh, Santana's The Braxis album. We have Ryan McJunkin's piece. It is called Black Star. Um, it's from the album Black Star of David Bowie. Um, so Ryan had screen printed and cut these all black uh, butterflies. And if you... Uh, next up, we have uh, Rizaldi Selly Jr.'s piece. Um, he, it is uh, oil on wood panel, and he framed it as well, wood framing. Um, it is from the Fuji's album, The Score. Um, our next piece here is uh, from Daryl Pierce. It is from the album or the band Sleep, and it's the Holy Mountain album. And Daryl did uh, as acrylic on wood panel, and it's a very like vivid, energetic piece. As I mentioned, how like it's it's energy that he's painting, um, and he totally uh, transcended that from the original album there of, of that of the Sleep. Um, yeah, it's a great piece. Next up, we have um, Luciano's Rogue's piece. It's uh, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Um, it's acrylic on wood panel, and he also burned in a lot of the imagery. Um, if you get up close and you see a lot of the marks that he did to create this, it's really, it gives it another depth there. So, so you, it just kind of, it really feels like the, the school table that kids use with the pencil holder and all that has, a, has that texture of wood and, and feel. Um, we have uh, Yubin Kim's piece, and it is um, obviously Beyonce. It's from her album, Dangerously in Love. It's spray paint and acrylic on canvas. Next up, we have uh, Ryan Harris's piece. It's a really elegant piece here. It's acrylic and aerosol on wood panel. Um, it is uh, from Bjork's album, Homogenic. Next up, we have uh, one of our studio, newer studio artists, um, Cobra Smith, and his this album is from uh, the Chasing Summer album by Sir. Uh, the medium it, it's acrylic and pen and ink on wood panel. It's really, really nicely done. Very, very illustrative work on it. And, uh, there's a lot of little details too. Uh, Kind of glittery gold paint or 
This is uh, Cha Cha's piece. It is a uh, one shot enamel paint on an album, an actual album. And she did this really crisply. She calls it Your Daddy. Uh, it's from the Too Much Too Young album by the Specials. And um, she implemented some, uh, Sophie's a little political, a lot political. In, in all the right ways. And uh, she's got the A cab, which means uh, all cops are bastards, I think. <laughs> Just uh, police brutality pretty much is the thing here. Really cool piece. Cha cha. Or Safi. And then next up we have uh, Cameron Thompson's, um, and it's acrylic on wood panel. Free flowing, colorful, acid, tripping. Uh, look at peace here. Really, really fun. Here we have Brian <laughs> Kelder's piece. It's a oil on wood panel. Um, it is he calls it Wheels of Fire? Um, it's a cream album, uh, Wheels of Fire, self-titled. And um, yeah, basically, it's you know kind of used the energy off the album and then just kind of made it a more colorful one um, version of it. Uh, it's really had fun with this. It's like a lot of his thick 